I love watching proteins dance. <laughs> um, it's kind of like a little world that no one else gets to see, but I do, and it helps me help other people. I'm Jamie Schiffer. I'm a graduate student at UC San Diego, and I'm studying how proteins move and using that to find drugs to help diseases. I am trying to find a drug that can help people survive after heart failure, specifically by targeting a protein called creatine kinase. It's extremely important for reproducing energy at the cell surface of heart cells. It's been shown that when you increase creatine kinase levels in failing hearts, that the survival rates increase to over 90%. We are looking at the interaction of creatine kinase with another protein, ASB9, that targets it for degradation in cells. We're trying to disrupt an interaction that causes the breakdown of creatine kinase in cells. So we use programs on the computer to look at the actual structure of the protein and find little pockets in the surface that we can target with a small molecule or a drug. So what we look for is a pocket in between ASB9 and creatine kinase. So when I play with the molecule on the computer, what I'm actually looking at is how the molecule moves through time, and specifically how it moves when it's interacting with ASB9. The difficulty with creatine kinase and ASB9 is that it's a huge protein complex, so experiments that are typically used become more difficult. It's also intrinsically disordered, which means that it doesn't have one structure, it has a series of structures, and so it makes it much more difficult to study with experiment alone. You get so much more detail out from the computer. You can see the movement of every single atom of the protein over time and that helps you to see things much better um, than with experiment. So with experiment, you can see an overall population, but you can't see the movement of every single piece. It's kind of like looking at the Earth from a faraway view and saying, well, I know what humans are doing versus being on Earth and seeing how humans are moving. It's fascinating to me because it's a world that we didn't know about until very recently. I just find it so interesting that you can understand a disease at the atomic level and help people through that understanding.